Hey there, good morning. Conflict and Courage, June 24th, Superficial Beauty. We're going to talk about one of the finest men in the Bible, Absalom, right? Reminds me of Lucifer. And the text is Psalms 3, 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of mine head. Like that Brooklyn Tabernacle song. With the memory ever before him of his own transgression of the law of David, of the law of God, sorry. David seemed morally paralyzed. He was weak and irresolute when before his son, he had been courageous and decided. His influence with the people had been weakened and all this favored the designs of his unnatural son. While the king was more and more inclined to desire retirement and solitude, Absalom sedulously courted the popular favor. Day by day, this man of noble mien, M-I-E-N, might be seen at the gate of the city where a crowd of suppliants waited to present their wrongs for redress. Absalom mingled with them and listened to their grievances, expressing sympathy with their sufferings and regret at the inefficiency of the government. So he knew how to make people feel heard by his remarkable beauty winning manners and pretended kindness he could care less he cunningly stole the hearts of the people he did not possess benevolence at heart but was ambitious and as his course shows would resort to intrigue and crime to obtain the kingdom he would have returned his father's love and kindness by taking his life <laughs> He was proclaimed king by his followers in Hebron and led them out to pursue his father. In humility and sorrow, David passed out of the gate of Jerusalem, driven from his throne, from his palace, from the ark of God by the insurrection of his cherished son. No, he did cherish him. He did love him. The people followed in long, sad procession like a funeral train. Many who see not as God seeth, but view matters from man's standpoint, might reason that with David there might have been excuse for repining and that the sincerity of his repentance years before might have accepted him from present judgment. David utters no complaint. The most eloquent psalm he ever sang was when he was climbing Mount Olivet, weeping and barefooted, yet humbled in spirit, unselfish and generous, submissive and resigned. We'll continue the story tomorrow. Hope you have a great day today. Live courageously.